back to my channel. It's Marisa. How is everyone today? Now, as you can see, as usual, I have tons of stuff on my table, including my coffee. Um, but you don't see anything about Markiplier. And that is because this is not about Markiplier yet. I am still kind of preparing for that video. It will be coming soon. Um, that series will be getting soon enough. And I'm really, really excited about it. So, um, today, I what I wanted to do is, because I got so into um, finishing my series with my chakras, then I kind of quickly um, moved on, kind of working on, like, behind the scenes with the Markiplier series. And then I started getting really into the resin, which I still am. I am just having a ball with it, and I wanted to show you some of that. Um, I totally forgot that I had these beautiful tiles and that I wanted to do blooms on the tiles and uh, to do that I was waiting for the Amsterdam which I have but I put all that aside to kind of finish off the chakra stuff so now I just today I want to get back into doing a little um, bit of work on tiles and I actually want to make a set of four so there's two, it actually comes packaged like this. Um, there are two tiles in here each, okay? And it comes with the backings, um, the cork backing, so I can get it out. See, here you go. And they are not glazed, they're just plain tiles. And here um, is the cork piece for each one. So today I want to make a set of four um, tiles with blooms. And then I will probably um, varnish them after. And so here's just a, some of the blooms I did. But these are the uh, wood rounds. So um, the backs aren't done and they're not varnished or anything. I just kind of wanted to show you uh, what I did do before. And yeah, so um, this is the cell topper, okay? And again, I'll just tell you really quickly. I got this recipe from Naptime Creations, and it is the Floatrol in Amsterdam Titanium White. It really does have to be the Amsterdam because there is something in it that really helps create these beautiful cells here and the bloom. So it is one teaspoon of the Amsterdam to two and three quarters uh, tablespoons of the Floatrol and you just mix it and then there you have it that's very it's a really easy uh, recipe and then what I do is I use this little stick to apply um, the cell topper in the middle uh, for me personally I just have to remember since this is a very small piece just to use less cell topper so you see you know the color and the cell topper not just all white and that's like I don't want this like kind of chunky bit here I want it to look more like that okay and I'm just taking some Primal Flow um, it does work very very well with the Amsterdam and with uh, the Bloom uh, technique so I just picked a whole bunch of colors I'm gonna be mixing all different colors today um, since we have four of them, and I don't necessarily want to be like matchy matchy. Um, I just want like four um, coasters with blooms on them with like kind of different colors. So we have the intense teal, sunshine, we have some glam red, we have some cranberry, um, we have some lime fizz, bubblegum pink, and this is the sea foam. Okay, so I'm just gonna be like grabbing colors and at the moment seeing what I feel with each tile um, yeah and they and the, all these colors work really well together um, yeah as you see here I have like the teal I have some red I have some pink in there um, this has like the yellow and, the, and it just mixed in uh, to make greens it just it's just very easy to work with and yeah, I'm just going to kind of do it like on a whim, what colors I wanted to use. So, alright. So I did these last, well, really this morning around midnight. 
and I've been using the liquid diamonds. Uh, it is almost finished, just, but this is a really small bottle, it's a very small kit because I just wanted to try it first. Um, you know, just because other people said it was great, you know, doesn't mean that to me it was any good. But, you know, my official review and my really honest official review of the Liquid Diamonds is that it's totally awesome. Um, it literally says no VOC, no VOC. And I'm going to be honest with you, there is not one bit of smell, odor whatsoever. Nothing. Uh, as usual, you know, my area is very well ventilated, but I don't smell a thing. So that is awesome. Um, the thing with this resin is a two to one ratio, as you can see. So it's two parts resin, one part hardener. And it is very, very fluid. It is, um, how, how do they say it? It is extra low viscosity. It is really great. It is amazing. Um, it does take longer to cure. Um, these, now this is like been eight hours later. And this is my new mold of all the weird like skulls and stuff. These are really cool. And I'm going to show you some of the ones I did already. Um, and I I was able to, well actually this is two coats of resin. So the other night I did like one um, layer. And I realized it was kind of too thin. And I could actually could have added another layer, but I just stopped there. Um, because I do want to try this resin with my uh, dragon eyes and see if it kind of gets into those crevices better than the unicorn um, because it kind of slips into all the crevices really really well and it just flows beautifully um, and I have to say that it mixes so quickly there is there are no bubbles there's no air bubbles whatsoever uh, when you mix it there's like a slight air bubble and then it's and then that stops like almost immediately two to three minutes later this resin is totally clear and ready to use it's absolutely amazing uh, no odor it's great um, but it, it, it is very like even after eight hours um, usually, yes, it can be a little pliable, but this is very, very soft still, so I will not touch it for another couple hours um, just to check it to see if I want to like add um, little like the hooks. Um, so I'm going to show you that really, really quick, and then we're going to get started. Okay. So um, this, these, these like a hundred piece here came with uh, this mold. The, the set of molds there, which is sitting right over there. Those beautiful bright colors. Um, these, And then I got this little um, hand drill here to kind of put these little pieces in. And this was like seven bucks or something, this whole kit. And this came with the uh, molds here. So these came out really, really cool. Um, I just kind of wanted to do like, more like a cameo feel. And look how pretty that is. Uh, yeah, this resin was really, really soft at first, so the back is shiny, but I actually love this, how matte it is. It's so pretty. Uh, again, it gives you that, like, that's what, I want, that's what I liked about them. It has, like, a little cameo feel, but look how, like, weird and, um, just different these are. I love these. I love skulls, if you didn't know, and sorry, my camera. Um, I hand painted these. Um, I actually painted the black and the gold um, before I put the resin in. I painted the actual mold, but on the black, uh, the black, not all of it came up. So, but the gold did. Um, I let it dry for like at least an hour, and then I put the resin. Um, but the black didn't all pop up so I just went back in and um, yeah and I just kind of finished that off um, I love this this is so adorable little poison apple there we go poison apple I guess this is like a phantom this is so cool or a ghost but with a really cool hairdo <laughs> 
so I thought that was awesome. Let's see, what do we have here? Oh yeah, that's like the little top hat guy. Okay, really, really cool, I love this. But you, it's kind of hard to see, I think I'm gonna add maybe some gold or something to that, or some color. Here's just the uh, ribs. And let's see, what do we have here? Oh, this is the twins. Let's see if you can see that. There we go. Yeah, uh, so conjoined twins. I couldn't think of the word for a minute. And yeah, so, oh, and this one. This one was a little soft when I put the piece in, so it was kind of hard to see. Yeah, that one's very hard to see it, uh, the detail. So I think the color should be different. Also, I may have to add a little, like, extra little paint or something to make it pop. Um, yeah, so those are these, uh, the molds with the little pieces in there. And I'm thinking maybe of putting maybe some ribbon through instead of a chain. I see, like, thin ribbon. I thought that would be really pretty um, to give it that little cameo look. And I just love these molds. These are so funky and weird, and I am loving it. Um, and what I'm planning to do is, and thanks to all you guys who answered me out there, which glue I should buy, the E6000 glue for like jewelry and stuff. Um, I am planning on getting some very small magnets, so the ones that don't have like jewelry little hooks or whatever, either for earrings or little necklaces. Um, I am going to make magnets out of them. I actually want to prepare for the summer because in my neighborhood there's a lot of little markets here, kind of like flea markets, which this is not flea market material, but um, there are some tables that have handmade goods. So I am wanting to kind of, you know, make some stuff to sell for the summer. So yeah, I'm just kind of starting up a little collection here. And that's it. So, yeah. And then this is a huge um, coaster. And then I got this guy over there. Yeah, I'm loving this um, resin. So, so far, so good. Um, hopefully, I don't know if by the end of the video I could uh, unmold these. But maybe the one after, I can just unmold them really quick for you guys. Because these are very, very soft. Okay, all right, so let's get started. And like I said, I am going to be starting the Markiplier series soon enough. I just, you know, I'm preparing a little bit, taking my time. And until then, I am going to be doing some other stuff with you guys. Alrighty, so stick around. I'll be back in a minute and let's get this uh, project started. All right, guys. <laughs>
Hey guys, I am back. So, I forgot what order they were in, but here they all are. Aren't those so pretty? This is very spring-like. Yeah, this uh, Amsterdam does wonders. Just so, very easy technique. Uh, so pretty. And you can just be very, like, on a whim with my colors. That's what I was feeling at the moment. And this is so beautiful. I love this. I love this one. And this came out gorgeous. Look at that. Just beautiful. Yeah, very, very easy way to do blooms. I love that lacing. And it is really beautiful. So after these are dry, um, I'm going to varnish these with some um, Tri Art Liquid Glass. That's what I like to use now. It's a really, really easy way to varnish. Um, it's a medium. Hold on one second. I'm going to go get it. Just for the people who don't know what it is. Sorry about that. So, yeah. That's the tryout liquid glass. And this whole big thing is only 25 bucks, And this has lasted me for a very long time. And it's a really wonderful way to uh, varnish. It's really pretty. It gives it like a resin finish. It's really beautiful. Uh, actually, I think it even says it on the uh, bottle. Uh, does it? Yeah. Finish resin. Mm -hmm. So this, these came out gorgeous. I love this set. And it is perfect. So I'm going to quickly show you these. I popped the little guys out because I want to make sure they were still pliable so I could put some of the um, little hooks in there. So I was thinking some of them could be, um, they do sell like dime size magnets. So these could be like a little set of magnets. Uh, these could be like necklaces. These are going to be magnets, necklace, and then these could actually be like bracelet charms. So I have a variety of things um, I can make with them. So I love the way they all came out. They really came out beautiful. I love this color blue here. Um, these are not quite ready to pop out yet. Maybe if it is not too late, I'm going to give it maybe another hour or two and see if they could be popped out. If not, I'll do it tomorrow, okay? If um, they are ready, I will do it in today's video, a little uh, resin coaster ASMR. <laughs> Okay, I'll do that. But this this is gorgeous. I cannot wait to take these out. And this these colors are just beautiful. I mean, they're like hard to the touch, but they're just a little too pliable, and I don't want to like mess anything up. Okay, so um, yeah, that is it for today, guys. I hope you love my little resin art. Now I have two sets. I have that set back there. My little lavender set. These are just gorgeous. And yeah, these are my beautiful um, bloom uh, tile coasters. And I will show you them when they're ready. Um, these actually dry really, really fast. Believe it or not, on the tile, they actually dry really, really fast. Like not even, it can maybe an hour or so. It's kind of weird. I guess the tile, because it's um, not uh, how you say gloss glossy it just kind of like soaks up the paint I don't know what it is but they dry really really fast at least in my house um, yeah so these are beautiful I'm really happy with them so I will show you uh, when they are all dry and uh, I will varnish them and then I will put these little cork pieces and I'll show you the final pro um, project when it's all done all right so guys, I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for joining me today. Um, thank you to all my new subscribers who are watching and joining. I really appreciate you guys watching. And don't forget to uh, hit the subscribe button below. Hit the notification bell so you never miss one of my videos. And all my social media and the links uh, in the description as well. And guys, I will see you in the next one. Bye. Have a beautiful day.